Hey guys, so in my previous video, I did a coloring video of my tiny boy. Um, I turned him into like a human. It's kind of an animal shapeshifter kind of thing, like the dragons that I have been drawing a lot. Um, if you want to see those, those are on my drawings playlist and they're also in my social media accounts. So you can go check them out. Um, yeah, so basically I drew him and then I colored him, and now I am going to outline him in this video. Whew. Don't know why, I think I chugged way too much water just now. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And this is marker from my coloring video, so yeah, I'm filming it in the same day. Um, so first I'm going to outline his hair. I know drawing, um, basically drawing a lot of stuffed animals as, um, as like cute versions of themselves on paper would be super easy, but I think, like, I thought this would be a bit more of a challenge. It's basically taking a stuffed animal and turning it into a person, which I thought would be kind of just fun to do, so I ended up doing this instead of just drawing a pig. So he is a pig. It's supposed to be a Chinese zodiac type of, um, type of plushie, but I ended up going for a boar. Um, you can tell by his teeth because I it's kind of inspired a lot by, I said this in my previous video if you guys watched it, but basically, um, I was inspired by Inosuke from Demon Slayer, um, he is a human, he's not a boar, but he wears a boar mask and the way he fights is like a boar, so it's kind of inspired by that. Um, the drawing of like, the teeth, though, was pretty difficult because um, people don't have the same jaw structure as um, animals, so I really had to uh, go by what I thought looked correct. So I made him angry. He's kind of like this hot-headed character because he is a boar and... Uh, I just wanted him to have like a temper of one, so I ended up making him a bit angry. I did give him pretty big eyes because I drew his face kind of big to begin with, so I ended up having to do that. Um, I just chose to make his eyes the same color as his hair, to be honest, is simply that way, and also it matches, it's not like I drew, like, different colors and had to find one that matched, it's easier to match, like, if you can't think of a, a trick is, like, if you can't think of an eye color that would match the hair color, and you don't, necessarily needed to be realistic. You can always go for what the hair color is with the eye color as well. I was thinking about giving him more of a pig nose, but I just decided not to because I thought that might look a bit weird. Um, so I, he's kind of, the plushie is kind of orangey. Um, orangey yellow but it's hard because I don't have a marker that's similar to that color it's kind of like a bright orange so I ended up going for a mixture of a bright yellow like a darker yellow and then I added a light orange on top of it so you'll see um the shading part for the skin is where I put the orange, and then for his actual um, skin, I just made it yellow.
You'll notice I put his teeth up. Um, tusks are normally jutting outwards, not just sticking up like this. Um, but because he has a human jaw structure, I had to kind of just go with whatever would fit. I still think it looks pretty good, even though it was a bit challenging to draw for me. Um, at the end, I was like, it's okay, <laughs> it turned out fine. It's not bad. Um, I didn't use a reference, so this is pretty good for like, not using a reference for like, the face. My friend said to look up like orcs and stuff like that for the drawing because they have like tusk like teeth so i did kind of look at um in japan they have um in their mythical creatures they have a something called an oni it's kind of like an ogre um they have big teeth that are like an underbite so i thought it would work well so I searched up a picture, and then I kind of used that. But other than that, there was not a lot of references to how his face should look. I mentioned in the other picture, the other reference that I used for it only went up to his chest, and then it stopped and that was it um so drawing something like this pose was not easy in terms of trying to figure out okay how does the torso look how what angle does the chest look like it's going through and stuff like that so i was just trying to figure it out as i was going along um Because the pose I chose is pretty much it's hunched over and leaning in to grab you, but I didn't know what the bottom would look like, so I didn't want him to be overwhelmingly scary. I kind of wanted him to be like this guy who just has a bad temper. He's not a bad guy, he's just, just a little... A little piggy. <laughs> so I ended up making him kind of just slouched. Like you'll look at his, uh, you'll look at his, um, right arm. It's not really, it's not also up. I was uh, originally gonna draw it like it was up as well, trying to grab you, but. I decided that's a bit frightening <laughs> and also it was I didn't have a reference for that so I ended up going for something that's a bit more easy to draw. Of course I could have searched up references for a lot of the parts that I was unsure about but again it's good to challenge yourself. I think a lot of the time, sometimes you get, uh, if you draw, you might get comfortable with, like, drawing a certain way and, like, draw how you draw your characters and then you don't improve for a long time. And I found out, like, during a month, like, like, every single, like, after a couple of months, I'll actually try to add something to my drawing that I've seen how... Some people draw and I'll do it like my own way, but like in my own style, but I'll try to add that to how I'm drawing so that way I'm constantly getting more detailed with how I'm making the characters look. But I think that's the thing though, like if you get super comfortable with with what you've been drawing and how you've been drawing and you don't realize that sometimes you're at an artist block because you just you have no other ideas. The best idea is to always look up like, oh, how do people draw certain things? And then kind of go from there. So if you see something you like, you can always like try to 
draw close to it, but in your style, so that way it's, like, not copying completely. And then you can always mix it in with how you're drawing your characters. This is probably the largest I've actually drawn a hand because it's supposed to be reaching out so it's kind of just like really in your face um which i've never drawn a hand like that before so actually getting it right like for the first time is is really accomplishing for me Now I know that Plush doesn't have a tail, but I gave him one because I thought he would be cute with one. I don't like not drawing tails on animal characters, so I ended up adding it. So here is the drawing complete. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see the coloring video of this drawing, it will be posted on my drawings playlist. Also, if you want to see the process work of this guy, I will be posting it on my social media. It's in the description box below. If you like and follow those, all my artwork, you'll be notified for like every single process that I do because I post it on there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey boy, says bye. <laughs> bye.